Happy Monday, Inspire Beauty. I am very excited for tonight's call, but before I do that, I've got a couple announcements that uh, I just want to make sure that I spit off before we dive in. So number one, uh, after, uh, tomorrow we are officially one week out from the launch of four weeks for everybody, as well as four week gut protocol. If you're on the collab, which I'm sure if you're on this call, you are part of the coach collab. Um, you have been getting lots and lots and lots of resources, emailing, um, blasts and, uh, just all the things to do with getting ready for this launch. Okay. Typically for me launches, they come from my table first. They rarely come from like new people. And, um, and so it's really important to me as I lead up to the launch of a new program that I'm really educating, informing, and also inviting the people that are already at my table, whether they are a customer, um, a customer lead that I don't really know, um, or a PC or even coaches as well, right? We want to make sure that everybody knows about these because launches, they truthfully are the opportunity where your business transforms. A lot of you guys probably joined at a time that a launch happened and that was transformative in and of itself. Or maybe it wasn't that you joined, but like your first glimpse of like belief in this business, belief in Beachbody, belief in yourself may or may not have happened when you were part of a launch group, a test group. I know for me, every time I'm a part of one of these groups, there's just energy, there's excitement. It builds belief in myself, um, but more so in the community that we have because we grow so close together as we're launching and, and doing a program side by side, um, you know, from start to finish for the very first time. It's just so special. So I want to make sure that everybody is informed, but also invited. Number two, so that's coming in a week. So make sure that you're utilizing those resources and getting those things out there. Number two, um, Summit, Coach Summit. Drop in the chat. Do you have your ticket for Coach Summit in St. Louis? Leah, Annie, Haley, Bridget, Ashley, and her hotel. <laughs> Snap. I don't even know if I have my hotel. I got to get on that. Um, <laughs> Ash, yeah, I got it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'm, am I the eighth person? Am I the eighth caller? <laughs> Leah, am I the eighth caller? <laughs> do they still do that, Leah, on the radio? Um, <laughs> I love it. I felt like I was on the radio. Um, I think I'm the eighth person on this call. And yes, I have my coach summit ticket. So cool. Everybody on this call has their ticket for summit. So this is the power. How do you get your people to make sure they have their ticket, right? So this is going to be a friendly reminder that I'm going to continue to do as we lead up, but like summit is the real deal. And the fact that we get to actually be there live together this year, not just live as a team, because y'all know I would make sure that we were together again as a team. That was everything. Um, but live together as a beach body family is going to be really huge. And if you've never been to a summit to see how massive this family really is and, and just how it covers every walk of life, right? Like there's no stone unturned. It just was such an eye-opening moment for me to get there and to be like, wow, there's not a cookie cutter coach. There's just not. And so that was really important for me. And then I think the stories are so important because, you know, maybe, yeah, I'm an ex-teacher, but my story might not hit somebody the same way as the other ex-teacher who gets on stage and speaks because maybe her story is just hitting a little closer to home for the person listening, right? And so we never know whose story is going to ignite or inspire somebody into some sort of action. Um, and so we want to make sure we get our people around the fire. So friendly reminder, all y'all have your tickets. Cool. Who are you bringing with you? Third and final reminder. Look at this. Isn't this so pretty? Y'all know I like pretty things, right? I freaking revamped our new coach handbook. Okay. And right now, Miss Haley and I are going to walk through this together for the month of March. And if you have not joined our new coach mentorship, why the heck not? Now, this is not for, I'm sorry, Kristen, this isn't for Kristen. I don't want her in my thread. <laughs> Okay. Kristen can lead new coach mentorship. This isn't for like my leaders. This is for my coaches who are not hitting success club consistently, haven't really gotten off the ground running their business, maybe haven't hit ranks like Emerald yet or Diamond yet. If you haven't hit Diamond yet, um, this would be a great opportunity for you to dive into this because I know it's a new coach, but sometimes if you're like anything like me, when I started my business, I needed a lot of new coach mentorships to make it kind of stick. 
I needed a lot of practice. Anybody in the room tonight needs a lot of practice sometimes before they got good at their skills? Yeah, I'm glad I'm in good company with that. I wasn't the kind of coach that just woke up and said, okay, I'm going to coach and everybody flocked to me. That wasn't my story. I had to really learn the crafts and the skills that I'm now teaching you guys. And it just came through trial, error, and a whole lot of practice. Okay, so this handbook, it's so fun. You know why this is so fun? And you know why I have it spiral bound? Y'all know I love getting things spiral bound at FedEx Kinko's. But the reason is because all of your new coaches that join this have three months worth of trackers in the back. Look at this, three months. I've already done the work for you for your first three months of the business right here. You just track, you just work on the business for three months, right? And there's just such, there's so many good things in here. Social media branding, um, team calls and weekly happenings at a glance, books that I recommend. Just, look. oh God, Grace almost fell. Lots of good things, okay? So you want your hands on this. You want your hands on this. You want your hands on this. And if you're like, Brittany, I just, I can't deal with one more thing. Maybe we get intentional about the things we deal with, right? Because I know that there's a lot of things right now that are out of my control that just feel really heavy that I, I can't do anything about. But there are some things that are in my control this being one of them. Um, and this I know is going to give me a future that I want versus choosing to bow out and isolate and distance myself from those needle moving activities. That's not gonna help me three months from now. So imagine if you dove in with me in March, messy, imperfect and all together, right? And imagine if for three months, you really took this new coach handbook and went with it let's see, it's March, April, May. Imagine by the end of May, going into the summer, about a month out from summit, the kind of momentum you'd have in your business. And just maybe the kind of confidence you'd have as a coach because you've been practicing the behaviors. Okay, that's it for my announcements. I'm off my soapbox. If you wanna join Haley and me, um, let me know. But uh, <laughs> it's all good. Cause you know what I already told Haley, if it's just the, just the two of us, we're going to have a lot of freaking fun together and I could care less. So boo to you if you don't join us, but I would really love more than just Haley myself because the more the freaking merrier, right? Okay. Tonight we're talking about how to invite to your warm market in the chat. What is a warm market? Can somebody give me your own little definition? Leah, I got you girl. Um, can I get a, a definition from everybody? What do you think warm market means when I say that out loud? Family, friends, people you already know, maybe you have a connection already. Um, maybe you know them, have actually had a conversation with them in person. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. These are really great answers. And that's all of the above. All of the above. Warm market doesn't just have to be somebody you've met in real life. It doesn't have to be a family or a friend um, that you like have in your phone contacts. It doesn't have to, warm market could also just be somebody you know on the internet, you've never actually met in real life, but you have a very deep connection in some way, shape or form. So I love this picture and I chose it for the cover here because this is an example of warm market and the power of warm market in just our team. Tonight, you guys, I'm not talking about Beachbody. I'm not talking about other teams. I'm not talking about anything bigger than us, Inspire Beauty. The power that the warm market has had on our team specifically. So when I look to my right in that picture, there's Kristen. Kristen and I met when I was working at Orange Theory Fitness. She was on a nurse assignment. Uh, I think it's Stanford, right? Stanford. And she got a membership at Orange Theory Fitness. And so we conversed before, after classes. But one of the things I love doing there is I loved Facebook friending the members. Um, not because I needed to sell them Beachbody, but because I'm the kind of person that I cared. Like we would do, even at Orange Theory, we would do like challenges with our memberships. And so I wanted to be a part of these people's social media so that I could be kind of there in the day to day when they weren't at class for that one hour. And so Chris and I were friends on Facebook. So we knew each other in real life in a passing sort of way, built more connection on social media. And then when Kristen was ready, I had a solution for her. So that's a warm market. And the beautiful part is then to my left in that picture is Ashley. And Ashley is a beautiful example of warm market in action on our team because Ashley is cousins with Kristen and they grew up together, right? Like sisters almost, right? And, and 
it was just natural that when they were together in New York City, that what Kristen was already doing with Beachbody bled over to what Ashley then could pick up on while she was with her. Okay, so this is the power of warm market. This call tonight, you guys, is about getting good women in the community. Okay, it's about getting good people in our community. And I want, I want to reiterate, these are, tonight I want, like, I, I hope when you leave this call, you're inspired and ignited. And like, I'm so excited that there's eight of you on tonight. But like, for the gals who did not get on tonight, man, I hope that they can feed the ener feel the energy on the replay to go and take some action. And if there's somebody missing from this call tonight that you're like, where the heck has she been? <laughs> Maybe go tag her <laughs> or, or call her out in a loving, gentle way, right? Um, Y'all have better ability to do that with your team than I do because when Brittany does it, a lot of times people just get offended <laughs> and lean away even further. But when you do, you guys have a miracle way of getting people to come back. So maybe this is your chance to reach out to somebody that you're like, what happened to her? Um, but these are the kind of women that we want to tag, that we miss when they're not on team call, that we want to encourage, that we want to shout out when they finally achieve that goal, when, when they're the kind of women that we want to actually struggle with through hard times because we form a relationship with them. So we don't mind the struggle. It's part of it, right? But they're also the kind of women that we want to get back up with to keep going. They're the kind of women that you want to hug and hang out with at things like summit or retreats. They're the kind of women that you want to go on vacations together. Could you imagine y'all if I couldn't stand Leia and we were going to Punta Cana together in 10 days? Could you imagine that would make for one awkward trip, right? So it's a good thing we like each other. You know what I mean? We don't just love each other. It's a good thing we like each other, okay? We're going on vacations together. I want to go on vacation with good women who are part of our community, right? Guys, I, like a psycho, like a freaking psycho, let all of you fly from around the country and stay at my house for four or five days last summer, like a crazy person. But you know what? It's people in our community that I want to have in my home, handpicked, right? These are the kind of people I do want to have in my home so that when something like that comes up, I'm like, heck yes, absolutely. It's a no brainer. They're women that I want to take on new challenges with. So when a new program launches, I'm like, I'm in, I want to do this. Or like last spring when, when everyone was like, oh man, I've never done the ultimate reset. And that seems really scary. It was like, but I'll do this because we have each other. Those are the kind of women you want. And ultimately women who inspire you to show up. Women who inspire energy and excitement out of you so that when you show up in your groups and your community, you have that energy and excitement because of the people you're showing up for. Imagine your bod group when you don't have people in there that you're really like vibing with. I've been there where I'm like, oh, these like, it's just a different energy. And then I've got bod groups like right now where I'm like, man, I love coming in and just seeing what this person's up to. Right. Okay. So that's what tonight is all about. Y'all got to check out these pictures because this is what's powerful about our community specifically and the power of warm market over our team. Good people, no good people. You guys, my PS people are good people. I'm not going to pat myself on the back, but I think I've picked out some good people. And in turn, my good people have picked out good people. And you guys pick out good people and it continues to ripple. And that's what makes our team so special. So when we do get together for events at Summit, I was actually blown away last summer that there was not a single problem or gossip or like a girl got upset with another girl about, right? Like there was none of that. And I was actually really wowed because I was like crisis management prior to the event of going through like these what ifs and Leia's shaking her head. Some of the gals are shaking their head because they, I really went into threads and said, okay, if this happens, this is what we do, right? And I prepped us mentally to be prepared for those situations. Fortunately, none of that came true. Summit was like having my family in town in the best way possible. Now, if you're on this call or you're listening to the replay and you're like, I'm not, I don't think I'm a warm market person. I'm more of like the Instagram follower turned like friend. You're an anomaly. You're a unicorn. 
But 99% of our team, you guys, is built on warm market. And it's not dried up for you. I'm going to just tell you that right now. It's not dried up for you. When I look at these pictures, you guys, first of all, I can't, ima I can't imagine going to Summit or going to events or standing on stage or achieving something, a big goal, big vision, and not having my husband on board. You know, and so for those of you who are in a relationship, I think that that's like really important. Is your family part of the team that you're building? You know, and, and in the capacity that you can have them, because I understand there's dynamics and things like that, but I just, I couldn't imagine having success without having Charlie by my side. So he was like an easy yes for my team. And he's, and it's not just that he's an easy yes to join and like fill a spot out, but he's also an easy yes for like, you're coming with me to summit. You're coming with me to this trip. Like I want him around our team. It's not just a, a space filler, if that makes sense. My mom was one of my very first customers. She was an easy yes for me. Um, you know, I, I look at pictures here of Ashley and Kristen or Kristen and Nicolette and like, that's family. Those are people that like Kristen went to school with, right? Leia and Kristen there in that picture with me on the couch, like I met both of them in my time at Orange Theory. So the people, your, maybe your coworkers, but not even the coworkers, like that was just part of the ecosystem of Orange Theory. So we've got to start thinking kind of like outward about who our warm market is. It doesn't just have to be like the family only or the like BFFs, right? It could totally be like a branch of a branch is your warm market. Um, let's see, what else do I want to say about this slide? Yeah, I just think that there's some, when I look around, the people who stick, y'all were brought by a warm market invite. Like Annie is not my warm market, but Annie went to school or went to the same school with the person that brought her into our team, warm market, right? And so like really look at the, the leaders of this team, the, the team that is be, being built is truly being built by warm market. And I'm telling you guys, a lot of the people, my random people on Instagram that I meet, they don't stick it out the way my warm market people do. It's just true. Also think about this at the end of the month, when you're pulling for success club or you're trying really hard to hit a goal, do you think of a random person on the internet? Or do you think of a warm market person that could help you out in that time? Our warm market is so powerful. So before we begin, we've got to talk about our mindset behind inviting. Okay. <clears throat> I've been all of these and I, and sometimes I'm all of these in one day. <laughs> okay. So I don't want you to be like, there's a category you fit in and, and you need to figure out how to get into a different category. I want you to, I want to normalize you guys that even if you master inviting and you feel confident in inviting to this team, when you get to that level, there will then be a new thing that you are uncomfortable with. Kristen, I believe is talented at inviting. Kristen in the chat, could you share with us something you're uncomfortable with currently in your business, even though you've hit SC, um, you know, coming up on, or you just hit 20 months in a row, right? Coming up on a legend. I'll give her a second to think, but we all, it, it doesn't, I, I wanna get rid of this lie that like, oh, if I just master inviting, then I'll, I'll know how to do everything. It's like, no, you get to the next level and there's another thing to uncover. Okay, so I want to normalize that growth doesn't mean ease. Yeah. Okay, so three things that I think when I'm looking at the mindset of somebody with inviting, I see three different like avenues. Number one, I see people who invite because they truly love the fill in the blank. They truly love the community they've built. They truly love the results that they got with a program. They truly love... Um, a program that's launching. They truly love the theme of their boot camp, right? You truly love something that you've gained. And because you love that, you want to pay that forward. I've been in that mindset before where I'm like, man, I'm so excited about this. And I'm just, it's enjoyable to invite because I, I've gained from this, right? The second thing I notice is people who invite, because if they don't, they won't hit SC or they invite because someone told them to. Have you ever fallen in that category where you just invite because you know you're supposed to check off that box that day and there's really no like actual emotion behind it? I've been there. And the other one is the people who, number one and number two, okay, involve inviting. One of them is probably a better method than the other. But number three is the person that's just not inviting. 
because of fear. And I'm going to talk about these different fears in a second, but the three that I would address or like that I pinpoint when I'm looking at inviting is a fear of being misunderstood, meaning mm, I don't want them to think, I don't want them to take it wrong, the wrong way, right? I used to worry about that when I first started that, that people would think I was calling them fat because I want them to join my boot camp. Because Beach Body back then wasn't as holistic as it is now. It was very fitness oriented, very like, you know, insanity, a lot of challenging programs, right? And now we've got so much more to offer than just fitness. Um, and so a lot of times it was like, I just didn't want to feel misunderstood. Um, we fear inviting because of rejection. And we fear inviting because deep down we don't feel qualified. Okay. But I want to remind you that you lose nothing tonight. If you were to go just send an invite, you lose nothing by trying. You lose nothing by trying, right? It's like the answer is always no, unless you ask. So what's your worst case scenario in the chat? What is the worst case scenario? What's the story you tell yourself that you've built up about inviting? What's the worst thing that could happen to you? Getting no response. I'm going to start with that one. I'm going to close the chat. I'm not going to look at the next couple because I want to address that one really quick. Not getting a response from somebody that you've invited. If you didn't invite them, you wouldn't have gotten a response. So you're already living in your worst case scenario. You feel that, you guys? If you never invited Susie, so Susie never told you that she wanted to be in the group, that's where you're already at. I'm not inviting Susie because I don't, I don't want her to ghost me, right? You're already living in Susie ghosting you about your group because she's not saying anything because you didn't invite her. So you're living in your worst case scenario. Okay, let me open another one. Let's see if this reigns true. Someone says no and unfollows me. Okay, if they say no, that means they don't want to be in your group. That means they're not in your group. So if Susie is currently not in your group and you invite her and she says no, so she's not in your group, you're already living with Susie not in your group. You're literally living in your worst case scenario, you guys. Susie's not in the group. It doesn't matter if she says yes, no, anything. It doesn't matter because she's already not in the group. Do you get what I'm saying by this? We're living our worst case scenario. And so the stories we build up, and here's the other thing, you guys, being uh, unfollowed, being blocked, welcome to the freaking club, <laughs> okay? And here's the thing, if someone is so offended by my invite that the only choice they have is to block me, I, I don't want them at my effing house. <laughs> I don't know what other way to say that. If I can scroll back up here, they don't get to pet my dog. You know what I'm saying? They do not get to pet my dog and I certainly am not putting my arms around them. So it doesn't matter, you know? We build these stories up. And so some things that help me, you guys, belief. And I've talked about this before. This could be a totally other team call topic, but belief in myself, belief in our team, in our community that we have to offer, and belief in Beachbody. And the only way belief is built is through action and time. You have to take the action to build the belief. So like for myself, if I don't feel like I'm the kind of person that can get results. I have to be able to believe it because I have to be able to do it. You know what I mean? And so the belief is built when you just do the dang thing. And things that also help me are being authentic. If I'm coming at a conversation, in my, if I'm, I'm fearful of being misunderstood, but I know without a shadow of a doubt that I just cared so much about this person being in my group that I just, <laughs> excuse me, I thought she would enjoy our community, vibe with our community. She's the kind of woman I'd wanna see in those event pictures years from now, right? And she misunderstands me and it's not her thing but I know that I was being authentic, that's it. That's all I can control. I was told this week that this team is not my thing. And the reason I do quotes when they say it's not my thing is they literally signed up for two months, did nothing for two months and said it wasn't their thing. No, my friend, you're just lazy. How about that? You know, like I, I don't have time for that. And maybe it's 75 hard. <laughs> Okay, where I just, I don't have time right now for some excuses, but it's not my thing. Y'all, that, that's not your thing. 
get away from me, Satan. Okay. Like like being around women and being, so that's just not your thing. Whoa. Okay. What is your thing? It's not, not my jam. Don't get in my house. Don't pet my dog. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like that's protection to me. That person that rejects you, that's protection. So know this, you have to know this with inviting and the mindset behind is that what you have to offer you guys changes lives. What you have to offer changes lives. Is it your responsibility to make sure their life is changed? No. And that's where sometimes we get, because we all have big hearts, right? We want so badly for every life to be changed, but unfortunately we can't want things more for people than what they want for themselves, right? They have to go through their own journeys, just like we all had to do our own journey. But things that change lives about this, you guys, is that people make healthy habits into a lifestyle. Every single one of you on this call right now, you've learned, I've watched you over the course of however many years you've been a part of our team, learn how to take care of you. And that just like fires me up. I'm like, so proud of you guys. Grace says hi. And and that's powerful because when it's not just when you, it's not just you guys, you know, I look at each of you and I see that your choices change your home. They change the people around you. When you, they say, when you change a mom, you change a home. I think when you change a woman, you change a home. And so that's powerful to me to see like the power of your healthy habits and how that's rippled off to the people around you. This changes lives because people are getting sisterhood and friendship in authentic ways that they're not getting just through social media on a screen in this like connected, but disconnected world we live in, right? Access to mindset tools and a more positive conversation. Y'all, I didn't even know that conversations like this existed until I was a part of Beachbody and our team. And I just wanted to get around it more. Like, wow, like I like these conversations, which is why Monday night team calls for me were an easy yes, even as a busy teacher that was falling asleep typically when my coach was talking. <laughs> okay. Um, so I get it. I get it if, you're, if your eyes are, are getting heavy right now. My coach's voice was like a lullaby for me, but I loved being around the conversation. This is also financial blessings. To hear Kristen come in in December and say she had a four figure month and like that, that's amazing. To hear about people who who have a nine to five and stable income, right? Stable, predictable income, I should say. to say that they're able to take their beach body and just sock it away in savings. How amazing is that? Are there, I don't think our world is filled with people stocking away their savings, right? And so every time you choose not to extend your hand, you rob them of that opportunity. We all joined, this is a cool thing about Beachbody, you guys, and the audience I'm talking to specifically you guys tonight is we all joined challenge groups for various reasons. So when I'm talking to my challengers, there's a wide variety of reasons that one of your gals has joined your BOD group. But when someone joins coaching, it's a common denominator. We're here to make an impact. Now, what that impact looks like is very personal to each of us, but We all joined our BOD groups for different reasons. You're here to coach to make an impact. And if you don't invite, that impact just doesn't happen. Okay? So practical tips. Yeah? We're going to talk Facebook. Because Facebook's where your people hang out. Think about it. Facebook, the nature of Facebook is that they're your friends right? Like I don't usually, if somebody friend requests me and I'm like, we have no common friends, deny, right? But isn't that one of the first things you do is like when someone Facebook friend requests you, you see how many mutual friends do we have? Oh, we have a lot. Well, then we must have a connection. Even if we've never met in real life, there is a connection. So Facebook is so much more connected than Instagram. And I know that, you know, on our team trainings and on, on our, guided action hours. I talk a lot about branding and we spend a lot of time on Instagram, but my friends this month, I want us to get on Facebook because there's a couple key things that in my business were really helpful for me to attract the right people into my community so that I felt like a successful coach and I was having fun in the process. So number one, birthday icebreakers. Facebook makes it so easy to connect. You don't have to be like, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to go through alphabetically. 
and, um, and invite every single person on my fr Facebook friends list. You guys, that's a terrible strategy. You might win like small wins, but I promise you, I had a coach a couple years back. <laughs> God love her. But that was her strategy was she wanted to make money and she wanted to make money fast. And so she just went down her Facebook friends list A to Z and invited everybody with the same script and it didn't work. And she's not on this call tonight and she's not a working coach on our team anymore. It's not that Beachbody didn't work, it was the method. There was no human behind what she was doing, right? And that's the beautiful part. Again, this is like, who do you wanna hang out with? Who do you wanna tag when you're doing a water chug, right? Who do you wanna go on vacation with? So birthday icebreakers, Facebook makes it really easy. Every day, it tells you whose birthday it is. And so this is connections. We talk a lot about like, how do I connect? How do I connect? The best way you connect with somebody is authentically. And who the freak doesn't want to be told happy birthday on their birthday? Now, I don't put happy birthday messages on somebody's wall, unless it's you guys, right? But if it's somebody who's not already a part of my community, I get in their inbox. Now, you can do this in a couple ways. Be uh, beach body. Facebook will tell you usually around that date. So you can see like who just had a birthday. You could be the kind of person that instead of popping in their inbox on their birthday, because people are busy, they get kind of spammed with a lot of messages. Maybe you're the day after kind of person. And you come in the day after and you say, oh my gosh, how was your birthday? What was your favorite part? What did you do to celebrate? Right? Maybe you're the person that comes in the day before and you say, I just want to be the first person. <laughs> I want to officially be the first to say happy birthday. What are you doing tomorrow? What are your plans to celebrate your day? Or you could just come in on that day and just, I'm so excited for you. You know, happy birthday, this and that. Birthday icebreakers, you guys. This is an opportunity to be a, 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 a human. This is an opportunity to connect with somebody. And you might say, well, I don't know how to bridge the birthday to an invite. This, that's the problem. I don't come in to bridge a birthday to an invite. I come in to see how somebody's doing in their life because if we can have enough dialogue, I can maybe help them if a problem comes up, right? Or maybe if we have enough dialogue about them and their birthday, maybe they're gonna say, oh my God, I saw your post the other day. Tell me more about that group, right? Or maybe because we're having dialogue about their birthday, they go and they watch my stories the next day and see that I've got a new boot camp kicking off and they want more information, they take my poll. If you're coming in to the birthday icebreaker with the sole intention that you need to find the perfect moment to bridge to an invite, you're icky. Stop it. <laughs> right? Just stop. Nobody wants that to be, people can smell it from a while away that that was the reason you came in and said happy birthday. Be a human. This is an amazing opportunity to, to clean out because if I get to somebody and it's their birthday, I have no shame in unfriending somebody on their birthday. I know you're like, Brittany, what? That's so rude. I will. I will unfriend somebody on their birthday who I'm like, why am I friends with this person again? <laughs> right? So it's awesome opportunity also to clean out your friends list. And it's a great opportunity um, to see if people fell through the cracks for follow-up purposes. Right. But this is also an awesome opportunity so that you don't go like, OK, we haven't spoken in 10 years. I've literally never said anything to her. And now all of a sudden I want her to join my boot camp. That's just inauthentic. So this gives you an opportunity to not just connect with people, but reconnect, rebirth a friendship. Yeah. Um, this is something that I did a lot, a lot in the beginning of my business. And actually, I did it. Um, the top of the pandemic when everything was shutting down and it was just like super uncertain and we're like, what is going on in our lives? And now we're just kind of numb to it all. But at that time when it was all super fresh and everybody was baking sourdough and doing puzzles, I was making a master list, <laughs> okay? And I highly encourage you to do the same. I call it a dream team, but it's not really supposed to be your team. Because I want you to remember that your dream team kind of comes as a result of people falling in love with your community. So if you can get somebody to come in and fall in love with the workouts and fall in love with the when the AM and fall in love with Shakeology and Energize and Rise and Jize and they can buy the team swag and then they buy the bike and then they right they're stuck they're lifers. That's how you get dream team people is you give them an amazing experience in your bod group community. So when I say a dream team master list, this doesn't mean you reach out and say, hey, do you want to build a business? 
No. Hey, I actually have this new program that's launching next week and it's all about gut health. Um, I don't know about you, but I've been like struggling with this like low energy and like super bloating. So I'm like super curious what this program is going to maybe teach me about foods. Maybe I have some sensitivities. I don't know. Anyway, I was thinking about you because dot, 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 figure out why you would think of them. And I want to know if maybe you'd want to do this together. Can I send you the sample workout? It's so much easier to reach out to a dream teamer, somebody that you already know in some capacity, um, because the conversation just flows a lot more naturally. It's as if I saw them on the street or we're having coffee together and I can naturally just kind of talk about what's going on. And the third tip is, so, oh, let me go back to dream team list. How do I do this? How do I make this? I literally go to my Facebook. I open up my friends. This is best done on a laptop at a desk or something or a computer at a solid workspace with a notebook and a pen. And I go through my friends list and if somebody sticks out and I'm like, man, I would really love, can you please take her? I would really love for her to be in the sisterhood. I'm gonna write her name down. And I'm going to move on and I'm going to create a master list. And so I'm, I want all of you to create a master list between now and next week that you're going to be working off of to invite to gut protocol. And then the invite, the type of invite. I know a lot of you guys, when I was asking about this call and just, can you tell me where you're struggling with your invite process? A lot of you guys shared that it's the scripting. It's the wording. What do I say? But for me, when I have a dream team master list, and I know who I want to reach out to, the, it just flows so much easier, you know, um, because I don't have to have the right words. I had the gals um, pull up their initial, uh, I had some of the gals look at some of their initial invites for people that were in their warm market. So I had like Ashley look at, uh, I think she pulled up, um, who'd you pull up? What, uh, uh, not, why am I having a blank? Kayla, not Kayla. Um, Ashley, help me out. Chelsea. Chelsea. Sorry, I was trying to unmute my thing. I'm like, why won't my mouse work? Chelsea. And it, it's it's like, you guys, it's beautiful, you know, because it's so imperfect. Chelsea's like, you know, messages are, so you're doing beach body. I love your pictures. Always been so beautiful inside and out, but you look amazing. And then Ashley's like, thanks. I love beach body. I became a coach with them. And then Chelsea's like, nice. Tell me about it okay <laughs> right like Ashley didn't even have to send the invite because this is the power of the people who already know you in real life okay um some other ones like Leia couldn't even think of any because they're all people that she like knows in real life that are just like they end up at a concert together or a winery or an event for the station or something and then they're like what do you I see you on Instagram I see you on Facebook what's that thing like tell me about that because I think I need that and it just flows a lot more naturally, right? Um, so those are just a couple examples. We can come back and do a couple more, but it was it's more of a come do this with me, not a let me help coach you on this. And nobody really wants that right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think people want a coach to level up in their life, um, unless you're me, because I'm crazy. But <laughs> I think people just want to feel like they're surrounded and supported right now, you know? So remember that Facebook's not dead. And I'm, I'm saying this because I, I have to get back in the rhythm of that master list, the things that I did at the beginning of my business. Facebook is not dead. Let's use this platform intentionally. Intentionally does not mean scroll and let Facebook tell you. Intentionally doesn't mean I post and then only five people like it. So that must mean there's nobody. Intentionally means open up your friends list on Facebook and start pulling people from that and expanding from that. My business blew up when I started spider webbing out from people I already knew. So I would go to my, um, I'd go to Charlie's account and I'd look at anyone he went to college with. That's how we have Allison on our team. Um, I would go to, you know, other, I'd go to like my husband, I'd go to family members. I'd go and I'd branch out and look at women that I wasn't friends with on Facebook that I knew maybe already knew in real life. And we just never followed each other or knew by default because of a common person. So maybe some of you, if you're like, I've gone through my list already and you're kind of like my coach from a couple of years back that 
literally washed up her warm market because she went about it maybe in the not best practice manner. If that's more of you, then expanding is going to be everything. Expanding is everything. I love that I'm, I'm part of a couple of different groups that are like, they're not just like moms of Dallas. I'm not part of a moms of Dallas, but that's what popped in my head. I'm not in a moms of Dallas group because those are strangers on the internet. You know what I am part of? I'm part of my <sighs> class of whatever year I graduated. I'm part of that group on, on Facebook. I'm part of, we're planning a retirement party for my band director. I'm part of that group. I'm part of groups that are like actual human beings that I have connection to in real life. Every single person that is in that friends list, if you are, okay, so as you go through this list, I know what's going to happen. You're going to make choices. You're going to come across a person and you're going to say, mm, I don't think they'd want to do this. If you come across a person and you genuinely are like, I would never want them on my team, what maybe, may, may I suggest you unfriend them? Because that's what we, we use our social media as our storefront. So they're wasting space in your storefront. You know what I'm saying? Like if I had a physical storefront and this like dud of a human being is just standing there not buying anything, they are taking up space where another customer could be. You know what I mean? So move them along, okay? Um, so if you get to somebody and it's an obvious like heck no, then maybe it's time to unfriend. But if you get to somebody and you're choosing for them because you're afraid to send them, I just want you to remember that you have no idea on the other end of that screen what someone needs in their life. And I would never want to choose for somebody, right? This is also an amazing time if you're like, well, I did invite a lot of my dream team people. Great, let's circle back. Because as a new program is launching, it's always a great new opportunity to look back on the people that weren't ready before. So anytime you go through this dream team list and they tell you it's not their jam right now, boom, follow-up list. They should go on a master follow-up list that is what you're going to pull out when the launch of fire and flow, is that what we're calling it? When that launch comes out, boom, I already have a follow-up list because all of my dream team people that didn't join me for gut protocol, I'm going to circle back and tell them about this program, right? And guys, I do things differently, Okay. And it might be unpopular in the Beachbody network. I don't know. I don't care. But I'm about quality over quantity. You rarely will hear me be like, 10 invite challenge, or you have to invite five people every day. Some weeks, I fill up my entire notebook with names, and not a single sound comes out of anyone's lips. In other weeks, I send three invites. All three people are ready and I hit success club and I don't have to write a single other name. You know what I'm saying? Like some weeks it flows, some it doesn't. So my suggestion is quality over quantity. Yeah. If you have questions about any of those tips as I'm going, drop them in the chat. I'll circle up to them. So roadblocks, because I already know that this is going to come up. Let's talk about those fears. These stop some, they're not going to stop you. There's the fear of being misunderstood. We address this, right? Like if you say to Sally, hey, Sally, I'm thinking about you. Wanted you to get some information on my boot camp. And she's like, um, I, I don't need weight loss, right? Or comes back, that's on Sally, okay? And we just pray for her and we move on, all right? Sally's having a bad day. It's not you, it's Sally. Fear of rejection, again, the whole thing, like Annie said, well, what if they say no and unfollow me? That person, if they say nothing because you never ask, you've already been rejected. You're just the one doing the rejection. So flip it. It's, if you refuse to invite somebody because you're afraid they're going to reject you, in the process, you're rejecting you. Don't be the one to reject you. And then the fear of being unqualified. So I asked Kristen what her, let me scroll back up to hers. I asked Kristen, what is her current struggle? Even though like at this point in her business, inviting um, and hitting success club, she's got a good rhythm, a good flow. It's an organic process for her more than when, it, when she started. Yeah. Now though, it's sharing about the business. So this is now her next, like, oh, I'm a little unqualified, right? There's always going to be a new level of where you feel slightly unqualified. And if we're always chasing this like perfection, like I should be, per I should be a perfect coach. It's never going to happen because every level you get to will open up a new door of something you're not qualified to do yet. None of you are qualified to be the kind of coach you need to be three months from now. 
None of you are qualified to be the kind of coach you need to be in a year from now. Thank God you've been getting on these calls because a year ago you weren't qualified to be the coach you are today. And look at the growth you've had, you know? So there's always going to be a level of not feeling qualified. So that fear, we just have to kick it to the curb because there's two choices. Everything's a choice, right? You can choose to allow that to stop you. And then that can be your sad sob story that you take to the bank when it's all said and done. Or you can choose to just take action, even though you feel a little scared. I promise you there are some people that like, I made like puke lists. Like <laughs> I, I kind of want to puke when I <laughs> send these invites out. And I, and I kind of want to puke like thinking about them joining my team. Isn't that so cool though? Wouldn't you want somebody that like, that you're so nervous to invite because they're so awesome? I used to be like so nervous to invite people who were already like really good at sharing fitness. And then I realized, Brittany, you'll never get people on your team who want to share about fitness if you don't invite the people who love sharing about fitness, <laughs> you know? So you kind of have to invite those people that you feel might be a, like a step ahead of you. But I think that the more you can acknowledge that, the more that you can you know, boost them with confidence, uh, boost them with confidence and like sprinkle some compliments on them in the process. It's just so natural to me, right? Like, okay, I'm, I kind of want to puke sending you this. I've literally said that before. Again, you, some of you guys said you, you need some scripting. Here's one. I kind of want to puke sending this to you <laughs> because you're like so inspiring already on social media with your workout routine, but I don't know how you're doing in terms of nutrition and I haven't been doing so well lately, TBH. <laughs> and so I thought of you because maybe we could do this like gut, um, this little gut cleanse together. Uh, what do you think? Would you want to do it with me? Right? Like it, it, see how I stumbled over it? It doesn't have to be perfect because when I stumble over it like that, it's normal. It's human. It's not scripted. Okay. Action is a fear killer. I'm going to tell you guys this today. I was here and I was like, national wake up call finished. And I was like, I can't do it. I can't do a power hour today. I don't believe in myself. I'm telling you guys, I went from like, I heard her say on the national wake up call this morning, that belief was her superpower because even when her, she wasn't on stage, even when her team wasn't elite yet, even when she wasn't on the national wake up call yet, even when all the things, right. She believed that she could. And I was like, yes, that's me. I feel it our team can do it. We got this. And I literally took like five steps to my office after that. And I was like, I don't got this. I can't do this. I'm not qualified. I should, God pick someone else. This is not like, this isn't for me. And you know what I did? I did a power hour because action is a fear killer. After that power hour, I was no longer looping that I couldn't do this. I was no longer looping. God get somebody else. I was no longer looping. I'm not qualified or cut out for this. Action is a fear killer. You find strength in your action. You find belief in your action. You gain confidence in your action. So some of you guys, the thing you need to do tonight is get off this call and take some freaking action. Send the puke invite. Hashtag it. Like get on the collab and be like, I sent out three puke invites. Like, well, hype it. We'll get stickers made. I don't know. You know, I love a good swag. Puke invites. Let's do it. Something that's helping me lately um, is keeping a book of wins. And I highly suggest that you're doing this if you are a coach that you've already been helping other people because you want these things to remind you that you're making an impact. So I, I pulled a couple that I'm like, okay, you know what? I think I, I think I have what it takes. I've got, you know, I'm finally starting to get a positive self-image for the first, these are people in the sisterhood, by the way. I'm finally starting to get a positive self-image for the first time in basically my adult life. Like, can we get a hallelujah? Like, I'm sorry. Did we, I'm finally starting to get a positive self-image for the first time in my adult life. And you're afraid of what Sally thinks of you. I don't have time for that. I'm on a mission y'all. Thank you for helping cheer me on these past two years. I got my wedding dress in the mail today. It was overcome with emotion. Sean doesn't even know I was looking, let alone that I bought it. And she sent me a picture of her in her wedding dress and I sobbed. Okay, I was very on the fence about it, but I'm so freaking happy I did it. Thank you all for believing in me. I seriously don't think I could have done this without you guys. You guys, that's the power. This is just what I need. This is keeping me motivated and helping me through my grief I am dealing with. This is a woman that lost her dad. I've been struggling emotionally the last several days. I miss my dad so much. So not only is this are these workouts helping me physically 
It is emotionally as well. Thanks for all your love and support. I know I have not been active with sharing, but I wanted to let you know, I freaking love my bike. Thank you. Imagine if I was like, oh God, the bike's expensive. I shouldn't invite her. These are all not strangers on Instagram. These are all not people who I just met, I see on social media. These are people I have one, two, I'm looking. Okay, there is one of them that I have never hugged her in real life on here, but uh, I we're like, it's like, it's like weird that I've never hugged her in real life now that I think about it. Okay. These are people that like are warm market people. And imagine if I was like, uh, she's going to like, be like, she's just trying to get my money from this bike. Cause it's so expensive. She loves her bike. And she thanked me. Right. But this only happens. You guys, you only get those kind of messages when you have the courage to invite your people. So this comes back. Warm market is your people. This is not, I, I'm following 60 people today who like fiction books on Instagram. Those are, those people like what you like, but they're not your people. You know who are your people? Facebook people. So like this month, I am like sold out on Facebook people. I'm going to get wins with my warm market eight plus years into this business because it's not dry. And I kind of alluded to this a second ago, but you'll never have a higher level success if you aren't elevating the type of people you bring around you. So remember I said a lot of those like random people that join me from Instagram that have been following me and then they end up joining me, but they don't actually like stick around. That gets really frustrating and it, it gets tiring. And if you're one of those people that, you know, you've brought a lot of random people around too, and you're like, man, they, they didn't do what they said they wanted to do, right? Or they said they wanted to join and then they ghosted me. You know why? Because they don't know you. It's easy for them to ghost you. You're just another face on the internet that's not really real to them. So if you want higher level success, if you want these kind of messages sent your way, you bring the type of people around you that will bring those kind of results, that will show up because they know they're on this journey with you. So some action as we leave tonight, because the last thing I need is a call about inviting and then we don't go and invite y'all. So help me God, <laughs> we're going to take some action. March is the month of movement. Yeah. So number one, you're going to build your gut protocol dream team list. You're going to go on Facebook. Don't even go on Instagram. Don't waste your time. Go straight to Facebook, open up your friends list and just start going down. It's going to take you a long time. I hope build your dream team list from there start talking about the VIP group. And these are people you're going to invite to. Again, make your list first. And then like, I think Nicolette was saying, you know, it, it's hard to figure out what to say. And then by the time she has like time to sit down, she's like not in the flow. So here's my suggestion. Make your, spend a power hour or your power pocket, just making a list. Like a really long list, like way too many people list, not five, like a huge list, like a hundred plus. Make time for that and then start chipping away at that list so that when you sit down, you're like, okay, I, I don't have a, like, guys, I'm literally, look at, you're like, Brittany, make a list. Like, I have to make a list. I'm literally looking at a blank sheet, sheet of paper right now. And I'm like, well, who do I invite? <laughs> and I have a list, you know what I'm saying? So you make the list and then you can start inviting, okay? Get them info. You know how to send them info because when they're interested, I've given you info emails to send out. Also with the information email, send them the sample workout. Continue building excitement about doing it together throughout this entire week. But you guys, the best feeling you're gonna have a week from tomorrow is that is having people ready to go on Tuesday, March 15th, who are excited to do it with you. Think about I always talk about future you, right? Imagine future you. Imagine next Tuesday you setting up share cards for people that you're really excited to partner with. For people that could potentially be your next, oh, where did I go? Your next, <laughs> your next summit hang. You know, each one of you guys that I'm looking at on this right now, none of you, Leah is the only one. Leah, you're the outcast girl. <laughs> not at all. Leah, you're the only one that's not a warm market. 
I'm looking. Everybody came from a very warm market spot except Leah. But here's the thing with Leah. Leah and I built a foundation for of a relationship for well over a year. Leah didn't just join me the day we followed each other on Instagram. There was a long time of building a relationship, even when she wasn't available to be a part of our team because she was on another team doing her thing, right? So keep that in mind. The people that you will have in these pictures are going to be warm market. So this week, it's your job to get out there, create that list, start inviting people. You can't say the wrong thing to the right person. And I think the more that you just sprinkle compliments on somebody of why you were thinking of them, the easier it is to send a beautiful invite that's just organic and from the heart. And then you don't have to fear rejection because at that point, you've been so nice, right? <laughs> like at that point, usually somebody's like, oh my gosh, that is so sweet of you. I don't think it's my time this month, but thank you so much, right? Like usually if I kill somebody with a compliment, they're like, they, they come back with a lot of kindness. It's when I'm scripted that somebody comes back like, you know, Karen having a rough day. But when you, when you make it personal, it's really hard for somebody to come back ugly. And the other thing is, if you make it personal for somebody, that person could be your next freaking lifer. All from this program, right? What questions do you have about warm market? It can't, it doesn't have to be dog moms of Dallas. Yeah. It doesn't have to be anything um, profound. It can be very simple. Like, how do you do this sprint? I'm just scrolling back through. How many people have removed is a warm market. Again, I don't think there's like, I can't tell you like, okay, after you go like three layers of separation deep, it's no longer warm. Because again, Leah, you and I became warm market because we just spent time together learning about each other's interests. And, you know, you'd see Frankie and comment on a story and I'd come back, right? And like, there was a mutual exchange of connection that was built over a long period of time. So warm market to me is also developed. Because there might be people, you guys, who are warm market, meaning you know them in real life, like um, maybe I went to high school with them, but if I sent them an invite today, it would come across very cold because I haven't connected with them in a long time. So keep that in mind too, just because you know them from middle school and you guys sat across from each other doesn't mean that your invite's going to come across warm. That's why I said that whole Facebook birthday bucket, uh, what did I call it? Not bucket list. <laughs> oh man. The birthday um, how you can just slide in somebody's inbox for their birthday, right? That's some of the, some of the people as you go through your list. If number one through five on my list, I haven't connected with since 2001, I should probably go do that first. But that's also why it's important to have a list, you know? So again, like when Nicolette's like, well, I sit down and I'm so, you know, things are so chaotic that when I sit down, I'm like, what do I even do? Who do I, what do I even say? Well, if you look at that list, and you're like, well, I'm going to, I'm going to tackle one through five today. And you get to one through five and you're like, you know, they just need love. Then today that's intentional. That's what intentional uh, spending intentional time is, is not just checking off boxes, but actually looking at the people that you have that you want to invite, but saying it's not like the time is not right just yet. Um, Questions to go over down. Do, 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 do. Yes. And again, I think Leah, too, if they're friends of friends, like Allison was a friend of Charlie's from college, and we became friends on Facebook, and she just started gelling with me because of the things I was sharing. So, a lot, so, too, so that's why sometimes, guys, just because they're your friend on Facebook, like finding the people who that's what's going to be that life or that's, that's who's going to be that good people bring good people in is if you guys already have some sort of like immediate connection, because there are other women that, that Charlie went to college with that are not part of our team that I've invited many times and don't ever reply to me, but that's because there's just, you know, we don't, they don't have that connection and that's okay. That's also okay. You guys, right. Um, connect a lot. Yes. 
Yes, absolutely. If you, and Leah, to me, inviting and connecting, it all goes together. It's all networking. Inviting is, is a three-part process, you guys. It's intentionally finding people who I would want to bring into the community. And you do this naturally. You don't just follow every single person on your, you know, if I told you go to, go to somebody that you love following on Instagram and follow their people, you probably select the people that look like the kind of person you want to follow, right? So if you see there's like a bot, do you just follow them because they commented? <laughs> no, you're like, eh, I'm not going to follow that one, right? So you're intentional. So inviting is first intentionally networking. So intentionally expanding, intentionally finding people to add to your community. Inviting is also connecting and inviting is also physically saying like, hey, do you want to do this? So when we think of inviting as a process, I think your answer is yes, absolutely. You should always be connecting before you invite because it's just part of the organic process. And in this day, nobody just wants a cold invite out of the blue. Again, it goes back to that quality over quantity. I love that. For some reason, I thought Haley and Annie, you guys went to the same college, no? You did, but just not together. We did, but we were two years apart and didn't know each other. The connection though, right? The connection, the same university, same subject area, right? And then able to connect on something that Haley then had an interest in when she's following Annie, right? So that's also important, you guys, because people could like the same thing you like, but not have the interest of this community. And so that's finding those special people and they exist because look, Haley's right here, right? Like they exist, they're out there. Yeah, um, I think that was it. I think I got every question in there. Yeah, and that's powerful to note, Haley, that you didn't join right away that you didn't join right away. Okay, so y'all, next week, Kristen is gonna have a really great call to piggyback on this, but before her call, you gotta take some action because if she comes on next week and, and you've done nothing in terms of inviting to gut protocol, um, it's, you're just, it's just gonna feel overwhelming. So start this week. Maybe it's not even sending the invites. Maybe next week's call with her is gonna like knock it out of the park for you of like, okay, this is what I wanna go say and this is what I wanna go do. But maybe it's making your dream team list this week for the next seven days. Can you go on your Facebook friends list? And at one point, you guys, I figured out how to download and print off my entire Facebook friends list. And I had like, it was like, it was, it was like a binder. <laughs> there were a lot of people, but it was actually really helpful because I could highlight, I could actually like color code. Um, but yeah, I think that, I think it's important that you go through that friends list and start making that dream team list because I'm, I guarantee there's people in there that you need to connect with first before Kristen's call, before you shoot the invite. You know what I mean? So this will give you a whole week to get the list, get the connections going. So it's just an organic process. Yeah. And then every day we'll keep reminding each other on the collab, but every day, birthdays, every day, birthdays, every day, birthdays, start doing the birthdays so that, you know, a year from now, you can't say that you didn't connect with that person, right? It, you're, you will literally connect with every single human that you are friends with on Facebook between now and next year. Mm, Kristen's call is going to be very specific about leveraging uh, the launch of gut protocol to build your business. You want to embellish on that, Kristen? I was typing and then I was like, I'll just talk. Um, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, I would say it's going to be heavily focused more on the invite piece of that, Haley, to launch um, to have the launch be successful for you. So, um, definitely what Britt said, like start that dream list this week and start connecting with people because otherwise next week might be even more uncomfortable for you. So start connecting now. I'm going to stop the recording. <laughs>